Now, how do we do it using the, the subquery? So the first thing is um, to understand the nature of the subquery, which is one value that is going to be used as an output is going to be used as an input for the other subquery. I mean, for the other query, which we call it usually like the outer query. And the inner query is the one which is providing the value. Now, in this case, uh, let's go back to that of the uh, getting the first maximum um, uh, value using the maximum uh, cells value, which in this case is going to be select again, max uh, from cells year to date, from cells that cells person. Um, so now we want to have this value as an input to the value that we have used over here. Mind you, like this was the, the same value that we copy and then pass it to that of the sales that sales person. So, I mean, yeah, the sales that sales person. But now in this case, we have to do this one so that we can get the ID or the business entity ID from whatever the sales person is based on this condition. Now, how about like providing this as an input to the sales person so that we can get the ID easily? That is going to be accomplished as select strict from sales that sales person where then we're going to have like sales that year to date equals then we're going to have a bracket I'll turn on this one just so have like we have a wider space to work on and then this thing now what is going on over here there is no any copy paste there is no any scalar values going here so all we have done is select max which is the cells year to date value is going to have its own input so first it's going to run this one now whatever the value that we are getting here is going to be applied to the sales year to date value. So if we run this thing and then do this, then we get a sales person whose value, whose sales uh, um, year to date value is $4,251,368. Um, that is the person that we're looking for. But from this person, we're interested on the business entity ID. Do you remember that 276 over here? That's what we are going to interested to pass to that of the uh, person, that person. So it's going to be exactly the same kind of concept over here. So we're going to only select the business entity ID from here. So if I run that, then I'm going to get only 276, which I'm going to fit it to select then person, the person where business entity Uh, select oh sorry select strikes from person that person where business entity ID equals and then we're going to have like additional stuff over here so I'm going to have this and here so by doing this maybe we can make this more easier to see. Oh. So we can have this. And then now we can see that first we're going to run this. We get the maximum value. Uh, we made the maximum sales year to date value. And we're going to feed that one to the sales person, which is going to get the business entity ID. And then we're going to feed that business entity ID to the person, that person. There are also other probably much easier ways, uh, but as far the subquery is concerned, this would be the way to go about it. Mind you, there is no any copy paste. You can run this one at any time and then you're going to get the up to date value of the person from the sales who has the maximum sales year to date value. 
and from here since we're interested only on the first name and last name then we can run only that one and then running this would provide us the Linda Mitchell which was exactly the same kind of salesperson that we run it using the manual way of um, handling the subquery. So this is how we're going to implement uh, and then pass the first name and the last name to the HR so that uh, Linda Mitchell can get her price.